guys, welcome back to one more of my videos. This time, you are lucky. You're lucky because I'm gonna show you how to pick a cigar the Cuban way. So as you know, my name is Manny. They call me Manny the Cuban, so I was born in Cuba. During my high school years, I went to a different cigar farms to work in there for 30 days. It's, it's part of the program that the Cuban government have in order for you to pay for your whole school year. The good thing is that you learn a lot. You know, you have to take the best out of any opportunity. It wasn't easy though. It was not easy to go away from your home and adapt yourself to uh, a little bit of different conditions that you're not used to but I learned a lot about cigars and today I'm gonna share with you five tips that I learned tip number one right away when somebody offers you a cigar you have to grab the cigar you look at it and it's the look the look of the cigar is very important. You have to look for a uniform color. You cannot uh, smoke a cigar that have water spot or have humidity issues. You have to look for the for the look of the cigar. Have to be uniform. Have to be pretty. Have to be well done. The cap have to be really nice. Remember, the look is very important when you pick a cigar. Like I said. And make sure the color is uniform, make sure it doesn't have any water spot, make sure it doesn't have holes because it's a little bug that they call the cigar bug. In Spanish, it have a different name, it's called Corgojo. <laughs> That's a fun. And then uh, make sure they don't have any holes and it's in the perfect condition, little cigar. Tip number two that I got for you guys, tip number two is the feeling and this is very interesting because i learned this from uh an old cigar farmer that has been doing this for generations and he told me manny do not pick the cigar with the hands you use the most meaning if you are right hand you're supposed not to use the right hand to pick a cigar meaning that you have to pick it up with the opposite hand because believe it or not you have more sensibility in the hands in the in the hand you don't use the most and it makes sense so you in this case i'm the right hand i'm gonna pick the cigar with the left hand if i were left hand i would pick my cigar with the right hand pick my cigar with the left hand and you want to feel that the cigar it's proportionally uniform and the feeling that it's, it's not, it doesn't have soft parts. You know, you have to feel the cigar that it's, you don't see any, um, how can I say, elevations or any dents on the cigar. You're gonna, you're gonna feel that it is, it's been pressed the right way. That is important. Remember the feeling with the opposite hand. You grab that cigar with your left hand if you're right. If you're left-handed, grab the cigar with the right. It's that simple. It will help you to pick and select a better cigar. The third tip I got for you guys, and this is very, uh, it's, it's contradicting. Some people think it's disrespectful. I think it's not. And there's a lot of Cubans that think that it's, it's not disrespectful. It's actually part of the selection process. It's the smell. But be aware, do not pick the cigar and put it all over your nose. No, you're gonna have to smell it top to bottom, but you keep some distance. You keep some distance, you know? And my friend, if the cigar is fresh and it's been starched properly, you're gonna smell that cigar so good. It's gonna have a beautiful smell. I'll tell you what, you're gonna have an authentic smell. Now, why we smell the cigar? Because you might, find that some cigars, they, they will not be stored properly and then they, they can smell funky. You don't want to smell that smell. You, and also you don't want to smoke a cigar that is funky. You don't want, you don't, you want a, you want a good smell, meaning that it's a good cigar, it's been stored properly. That's what you're looking for. It's very contradicting. Some people say they're respectful. We don't believe in that. I believe the selection process of cigar is very personal. It, and then, we smell the cigar, period. The fourth tip that we got, and this is very particular, is the sound. Yes, believe it or not, 
when what we look for is for we look for the middle of the body of the cigar and when you put it here in your ear and when you roll it back and forth with your hands you're going to hear crispy sound meaning that they use the right filling for the inside the cigar meaning that the cigar is being starched properly meaning that the cigar would burn uniform all the way to the end let me see if you can hear this I don't know if you can hear it. One tip is that don't squeeze too much because you can break the leaf. So you're supposed not to squeeze. Just, you can hear it. If you put it in your ear, you can hear that crispy sounds, meaning that the cigar will burn right. And the five tip I got for you guys, and the last one is that be confident. Be confident that you choose the right cigar for you. Don't let nobody tell you that's not how you do it. Confident is very important because the, by the time you light up that cigar, guys, that's it. That is your moment of relaxation, your moment of release your stress. That's a moment where you feel in the top of the world. At least that's how I feel, you know what I mean? It's just that simple. Uh, a selection of the cigar is very important to me and then that's how I feel. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you learned something and um, it might seem a little bit complicated to you but everything will come to you with experience. Just keep following those steps and at least we get you somewhere. It's a start. Remember, some people rather to smoke a cigar than go to therapy. I am one of those guys. A cigar for me is like a traveling to space on the space shuttles. Thank you for watching guys. I really appreciate you clicking this video and, and if you have any questions, uh, let me know through the comments. I would be more than happy to, to help you with questions and stuff like that. Whatever you need. Hey, whatever you need, bro, shoot. I'm here, Manny the Cuban. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your day. Enjoy the week, the month, the year. God bless you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.